hope you already enjoyed uh, the experience of driving a plug-in hybrid this morning with the Panamera S E hybrid. So we definitely did. I think it was was interesting and talking a little bit. Well, that was an appetizer war for what's coming soon. No other Porsche is definitely better suited than the Panamera S E hybrid um, for setting the mood. The intro we introduced the world's and this is really important. The world's first plug-in hybrid luxury sedan. Uh, to the class, uh, to the market uh, last year. There, there's no other car around featuring this technology and it's really a technology we believe in. No other car in the world covers such a broad spectrum between electric mobility and uh, sporty performance, between efficiency and convenience, between technology for tomorrow and everyday utility for today. As a sports car producer, producer this extreme bandwidth between performance and efficiency has literally electrified us. What would be possible if one were to embody the best of these two worlds in a super sports car? You see the after here, the 918 Spider. That's because Porsche's hybrid technology is not just feed lift to be added to the car, rather than it's uh, really the key to even make the better sports car and the better synthesis of more power and better fuel economy. The 918 Spider impresses with the following highlights. It's a high performance um, hybrid with plug-in technology, systematic lightweight design, a rolling chassis concept um, with its race car chassis and high revving V8 from motorsports and uh, from DNA of the RS Spider. We have five driving modes um, with two motors, one engine. Uh, each is a high performance power plant with a very spe specific advantages. Porsche Active Aerodynamics is optimally tunes the car for maximum speed um, or maximum dynamic maneuverability. The control and display concept, its design and intuitive operation are still unique in the field. And it's the first car featuring a HTML5 device in the car, so using consumer electronics and um, having a very, very cool and intuitive operation. A well thought out and seamless charging infrastructure. Uh, the 918 offers a quick charging system as an option, uh, which fully charges the battery in around 20 minutes. Uh, driving fast and charging fast simply go together. And for our customers who are very high performance standards, we offer the Vice Up package, uh, which takes the 918 Spider even more in the direction of motorsports. We broke the class record on the Nürburgring at the Nordschleife with this high performance sports car um, with a lap time less than seven minutes. We are happy to have one of the drivers here today. Um, so he can promise uh, Nordschleife under seven minutes. I can promise here under seven minutes. So <laughs> we are both in the same league, so <laughs> sub seven. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dynamic performance is definitely one key aspect of the 918 Spider. The ease is tremendous. The other is tremendous efficiency. Um, that too has always been in the DNA of Porsche, so our sports cars has always been very, very efficient. Our super sports car has a fuel economy of around 67 <coughs> miles per gallon gasoline equivalent, MPGE, in electric mode and 22 miles per gallon for the combustion engine. So extremely efficient for an 887 horsepower super sports car. The driving performance, of course, of a race car on one hand and the fuel economy of a small car on the other, the kind of spread is still totally unique in the field. We have constructed this first hybrid super sports car from ground up to achieve this. It utilizes three motors, two drive system, internal combustion engine, and the electrical and the high performance battery. All heavier parts are positioned extremely low in the car and as close to its center of gravity as possible. The monocoque and subframe concept was engineered with this in mind. Both of them, as well as the outer skin of the 918 Spider, consists of carbon fiber reinforced polymers. The active systems um, are placed on the chassis. I would like to emphasize uh, two points in particular. One is the rear axle steering that gives uh, a lot in the, in the cars feeling and uh, how honest the car uh, is driving in the Porsche, Vect Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus system. That's also part of the 918 
spider. Without these systems, it would not have been possible to set our record time at the Nürburgring. And we are living in a world where electronics and especially chassis electronics are making the cars faster and better. And not, and not the Nürburgring without a new type of brake system, a high performance hybrid brake system, consists of an electrical unit engineered for highly effective energy recuperation. So we have a blending or over blending system between hydraulic and electric braking and the mechanical in the form of the Porsche ceramic composite brakes. When the electric motors are switched over to generator mode, we are able to recover up to 230 kilowatts of electrical power. This is tremendous. It's an exceptionally high recuperation value. It gives the 918 Spider the ability to use the electric power to accelerate more quickly out of the next turn. Ladies and gentlemen, now we come to the heart of the 918 Spider, the performance hybrid drive with plug-in technology. It consists of three core components. One is a high revving V8 engine with a lightweight 180 degree so-called flat crank shaft and 608 horsepower, what makes it the most powerful normally aspirated engine in the world if you consider horsepower per liter. The electric motor with 156 horsepower is it that is arranged in parallel and the standalone electric motor at the front axle with another 129 horsepower. Located between the mid engine and the mid motor and the rear axle is a dual clutch transmission uh, with uh, seven gears that was specially tuned for performance. The electric motor at the front only has a no, the electric motor at the front only has a one gear ratio and this is decoupled when the vehicle speed exceeds 165 miles per hour. And Porsche know-how lies now in refined operating strategy for these uh, three drive sources. And we already discussed yesterday evening it's really important that all the wheels go in the same direction and not vice versa. The software makes it possible to seamlessly cover the enormous spectrum between an extremely fast super sports car and an extremely efficient technology platform. And we offer the driver the option of pre-configuring the 918 Spider for a specific driving style by selecting one um, of the five modes. E-Power gives preference to the electric drive. Hybrid emphasizes uh, efficiency. Sport hybrid is for sporty, very sporty driving style. And race hybrid is here for the track. It's tuned for dynamic performance that is uncompromisingly fast. In this mode, the additional hot lap button unleashes all of the car's reserves for extreme performance needs. And I only, we already talked this morning, uh, we are also recharging the battery um, in sport and race and uh, hot lap. And uh, I only know three drivers in the world that are able to decrease the state of charge of the battery by driving in hot lap mode. One is sitting here. Um, the rest uh, has normally the problem that state of charge is always growing even if they are faster. So these pre-selected modes not only affect the, um, how the electric motors and the engine interact, it also affects the shifting strategy of the PDK, the active aerodynamics and even the lights, but not the ESC. So um, stability, co stability control uh, is not depending on the driving modes, it's always good. So no changes. In the two extreme modes, the electric mode and the hot lap mode, a variable pressure point in the gas pedal gives the driver sensory feedback on switching threshold for the other drive types. So if you feel the resistance in, in E mode after the point, the uh, combustion engine will run and vice versa in hot lap mode, you're running on the combustion engine and if you're beyond the point, uh, you get the extra acceleration from the electric motors. That lets this lets the driver optimally adjust power output. The most important aspect, all driving functions of the 918 Spider can be operated without having to take one hands off the steering wheel. The sports steering wheel enables this by offering shift pedals and the map switch for driving modes, plus the hot lap button in the steering wheel spoke at four o'clock. The continual availability of electric electrical performance depends definitely on the battery. We have developed an innovative lithium-ion traction battery for the 918 Spider. It ex exhibits 
the highest specific power of any hybrid battery. Um, so we have 1.7 kilowatts per kilogram. Allow me to review um, the key data that clearly illustrate uh, the incredible performance and bandwidth of the 918 Spider. We have 887 horsepower maximum system power, up to 944 uh, foot-pound of system torque, from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds, and with the Weissach package the quarter mile is less than 10, it's 9.9 .9 seconds. Um, top speed, especially important for US freeways, 214 miles per hour. On the other hand, fuel economy around 67 miles per gallon, gasoline equivalent and in electric mode, and 22 miles per gallon for the combustion engine. Electric driving range is up to 12 miles. And with the Weissach package, we also achieve a weight saving of 90 pounds, 90, that shortens the time required to accelerate from zero to 180. <laughs> 68 miles per hour by one second, and the time to complete the Nordschleife of the Nürburgring by three seconds. We were also the first to break this record with uh, such a car. Finally, we can give you an overview of the technical data um, of the 918 Spider, both with and without the Weissach package. And um, finally, at the heart of every Porsche, there's a race car, and in the 918 Spider, I promise you, there's a very special one. Um, I'm eager to get now your impressions from the car on the track. Um, we start a little bit with the introduction here on the standing car, and then let's go out. Um, whether it's still fine, it's warmer than yesterday. So, good condition. Thank you.